Merry almost Christmas! I've been to three Christmas markets so far and they've all been fantastic. We went to one in York, one in Manchester, and uh, the one on campus at Lancaster. In York we went to this castle and it was super awesome and we got to see a trial about Richard III and we got to walk around on the castle walls and it was so much fun. Walking around the square with tons of little huts was awesome too. I'm used to the Christmas craft fairs in the US where they're in a school gym or something or people's houses and you go to the little tables and booths but here they were like actual buildings little houses type things with a bar you went up to and you could look at the people's wares it was really awesome they looked permanent kind of like cabins I got these in York and they're little um, coconut mushroom type things they're kind of adorable and they taste really good and I also got some cheese at the one in New York I got a Guinness cheese which was fantastic and I tried this before I bought it yeah and then the coconut cheese I got in Manchester really good when I tried it really good the first time I had it by itself really good when I had it on a sandwich hasn't been quite a week yet not not really doesn't taste good anymore no, it's kind of sad because I really liked it at first. Um, we got these in New York. They are handmade. We saw a lady there that was molding the clay for other ones of them. And she hand painted them and hand fired them. And we have a matching set. Trevor really wanted these because they're like goblets and kind of awesome. And definitely need to have apple cider put in them soon. When we were in New York, we also saw this huge, awesome church, and we went in there, and we got to look around. Kind of crazily enough, one of the glass parts of the entrance just, like, shattered from a spot while we were there. It was, like, this big bang, kind of terrifying, but, you know, Trevor didn't even notice it happened. We went to the little part of the church, like, the separate normal church part for a coffee, tea, Trevor got apple juice, and special little cakes and treats thing that was free near the end. And we listened to them sing Christmas carols. And that was a lot of fun. In Manchester, we also got these cool little mugs, which are celebrating their 15 years of having the Manchester Christmas markets. And we just got a drink with this one. It was mine. and. You get the mug with it, and then we bought this one because Trevor wanted one of the other ones too. So, they're pretty cool. We ha we'll be able to take those back to remember the awesome Christmas market. We went to an English carvery after we were in the Manchester Christmas market, and it was awesome. It's the best food I've had in so long. It's crazy. We got, like, different. there were different meats, and you could get a lot of one of them or some of each of them. I got some of each of them. There was this thing called gammon, which is kind of like our ham. Slightly different. Uh, I thought it tasted about the same. The turkey was fabulous. Really liked the turkey. That was the best, best meat that was there. And they also had beef. The beef was also very good. And there was gravy for that. There were a bunch of different little spreads. I smelled some of them, tried one of them decided the gravy was a better bet. Vegetables of all kinds. There were potatoes that were mashed and there was stuffing and there were um, there was cauliflower, cheesy cauliflower. There were some random random vegetables that I wouldn't normally have had with dinner or most anywhere. We had Yorkshire pudding which also wasn't what I was expecting. I mean, they were these little crispy, like, poofed up things, but they weren't soft. They were, they were just crispy. And we just scooped up, like, gravy and meat and stuff with them. That was okay. I mean, 
whatever. We had a lot of good food and a lot of fun and got the last train going back to Manchester. And we got back really, really late. We were really, really tired. But we eventually got to sleep. It just was a really long day. And the one on campus, we saw Santa. It's almost Christmas, and Trevor and I just went and saw Santa, and he gave us little presents, and I don't know what's in it yet. But we're gonna open them today just in case it's candy or something that might expire and we shouldn't wait till Christmas. And Trevor got me a cupcake. So this is my Christmas cupcake, and it's a chocolate pudding cupcake. And it has like a little holly thing on the top. And it's really cute, it has, it's a truffle. I'm really excited to eat it. Santa gave us a present. Trevor and I each got a little roll thing of candy. And mine are these like fruit flavored, almost like orange slices or something like that, but a bunch of different little fruits. Trevor's are Smarties and they aren't like the normal US Smarties, which I don't particularly like there. His are more like M&Ms and they're pretty awesome and taste really good. So those are pretty cool presents. Later that night, they had a reindeer there. So we got to see the reindeer and I got to pet the reindeer and they weren't super soft, but it was cool. And they had this little fur stuff on their antlers. I didn't know they, I didn't know they had it like that. We're getting ready for Christmas. We have these decorations on the ceiling. We have one little Christmas tree. There's another little Christmas tree. We have this super big star thing in the center of the room. This is our Christmas tree. We got a couple little things to decorate it and the pumpkins from two Halloweens ago that my mom got for me. And he's just really cute and dances in the sun. So. He's helping me the nightmare before Christmas. I didn't originally think we were going to be able to get a Christmas tree, and so I found this outside, and this stick was going to be our fabulous Christmas tree, which Trevor said was really sad. Yay to this one rather than this one. And now Trevor's going to burn it. So I hope you're having as much fun getting ready for Christmas as we are. Finish classes in two days. Yay!